Well, good morning. I would like to uh, welcome you all to our award ceremony at the end of this school year. Uh, and for those of you who are at home, you might not believe it, but I have the entire seventh grade in front of me um, because they're acting like such angels, you don't hear them. So why don't we all make sure that your presence is known and why doesn't everyone say good morning? Good morning. Okay, thank you all. Thank you so much for being here. It's a special occasion, as I mentioned earlier to you, and I'm very happy to uh, have all of us here in the same room together. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Kevin Straley. I'm the proud principal of Windsor Central Middle School. And uh, on behalf of Mrs. Strick, our associate principal, and our entire world-class faculty and staff, I'd like to welcome you all to our annual awards ceremony. This is the seventh grade version of it. You know, as we come to a close of this school year, I reflect on where we are in relation to where we were. And I uh, have to admit that uh, over the summer, I wasn't sure we'd have much in-person learning at all. And in fact, in August, it looked pretty bleak as to how many kids we'd have in school any given day. But there was an awful lot of work done by administrators and custodians and bus drivers and kitchen workers and everyone else to make it possible to open school and to have kids come more and more each and every day. It was an incredible accomplishment. But the real hard work came from our teachers, I believe, who had to figure out Zooms, hybrid learning, who's supposed to be here, who's on Zoom, doing it all at the same time, figuring out Schoology, and then following all the safety precautions that we had in place. Um, and they made it all happen for all of us, and here we are celebrating the end of a fantastic school year. So thank you to all of them. Now before we call names of specific students who have achieved excellence this year, uh, I don't want us to forget that each and every one of us is, uh, deserves acknowledgement for what you have done in light of the pandemic for the last 16 months. It's really been remarkable. And the pan pandemic has affected each of us differently, some of us much harder than others. I mean, for some, overcoming internet connectivity issues, learning how to handle schoolwork from home, and everything that is in front of you at home, and the distractions, and everything in between home and school, you, you uh, were able to do that. And i um, very proud of the efforts of all of you. Uh, a lot of people could have just chalked this up for a year that we weren't going to do much teaching, or certainly weren't going to do much learning but we pushed through and so did you. So I wanna, I wanna congratulate each and every one of you. You might not hear your name today, but you should be recognized. And at this time, I'd like the staff to join me as well as our students to give each and every one of you a round of applause for your efforts. So you're all exceptional, but today we're going to um, commemorate some of the work that has stood out uh, in this very challenging year. And I want to thank all of you for being a part of this very special school. Um, uh, it is in interesting to note that some of our award winners are actually fully remote students, so they have not only um, been able to overcome all the obstacles of, of being at home, but have excelled. So to them I say congratulations and thank you. I'd also like to thank, sorry, I thought I heard some banging. I'd also like to thank um, Ms. Strick and Ms. Hyde and everyone else who have worked so hard to put this on. In fact, the technicians who are recording it and standing by in case anything doesn't go smoothly. Uh, thank you, team, for all of that. This is not an easy thing to do, and it's very different for us, as you know. But today we are, uh, although we're socially distanced, we are assembled nonetheless. And it, it gives me great pride to look out and see the entire grade level here. Normally we do this with the entire school, but we have to be socially distanced and, and spread out. But uh, we're still able to be together. So. Um, feeling great about that. Um, so as I said before, and many, many times that you've heard me say, the pandemic has made everything difficult. It's made teaching and learning much more challenging than ever before. But our school culture has survived and thrived, and we have done an exceptional job this year, and that is why we're assembled here today to acknowledge your, all of your great work and those who stood out. So we will begin with our seventh grade awards, and we'll be um, recognizing some of the excellence we've had this year. We're gonna start with our Outstanding Effort and Outstanding Achievement Awards. Now, outstanding Effort is given to a student in his or her respective grade level and class who has shown the most determination and highest work ethic. So it's that, that hard work that we want to recognize. The Outstanding Achievement Award is given to the individual in each one of those classes who has attained the highest level of achievement 
in each class. Now I'd like to again add that remote and hybrid learning this year has made both effort and achievement more difficult and all the more admirable. So congratulations to all of the people that we are going to recognize. It is a long list because we have many classes, but it is definitely worth our time to do such and recognize the, the effort and achievement of our students. So you're going to see multiple names for each subject because we have multiple teachers who, who teach these courses and each one of them was able to nominate somebody. Uh, and you can see our list here, there, there are a lot of them and each one will have an outstanding effort and then we'll follow up with outstanding achievement. If your name is called, what I'd like you to do is stand and get a nice uh, appropriate and warm uh, applause from your classmates and then the teacher who is actually nominating you is going to find you and come and give you your award in person. Uh, and then we will move on, we'll kind of do it quickly so no one has to come up on, a, on the stage. We'll, we'll try to do it quickly and uh, um, it'll, it'll go smoothly. We will start with our Outstanding Effort Awards. For seventh grade, ELA, Outstanding Effort, Milton, Ignacio, and Isley Leonard. For seventh grade math, outstanding effort, Abigail Kilmer and Asia Quinn. For seventh grade social studies, outstanding effort, Kevin Cantone and Noella Watts. Seventh grade physical science, Outstanding effort, Ember Warren and Michaela Vanderpool. He's taking his time so everybody has to stare at you. <laughs> For seventh grade physical education, outstanding effort, Kaylin Daly and Ava Platten. For seventh grade French, outstanding effort, Ella Stonehouse. For seventh grade family and consumer science, outstanding effort, Peyton Otis. Seventh grade Spanish, outstanding effort, Aubriana Tyler. Seventh grade, Project Lead the Way, Outstanding Effort, Owen Hershowitz. <laughs> Seventh grade, Art, Outstanding Effort, Levi Harris. <laughs> Seventh grade, Music Exploration, Outstanding Effort goes to Grace Reed and Giovanna Sacco. Those are our Outstanding Effort Awards, and now we move on to Outstanding Achievement Awards. So congratulations to all of those recipients, and we move on to the same classes now from the same teachers. For seventh grade ELA, Outstanding Achievement, Kira Chris and Raylan Levine. <laughs> seventh grade Math, Outstanding Achievement, Alexa Conrad and Krishna Patel. For seventh grade social studies, outstanding achievement, Luke Beatty and Jace Dixon. <laughs> seventh grade physical science, outstanding achievement, Parker Lake and Joshua Adorno. <laughs> For seventh grade physical education, outstanding achievement, Giovanna Sacco and Aubriana Tyler. Seventh grade French, outstanding achievement, Addison Garino. For 
seventh grade family and consumer science outstanding achievement, Alexa Conrad. For seventh grade Spanish, outstanding achievement, Michaela Vanderpool. For seventh grade project, lead the way. Outstanding achievement, Asia Quinn. And for seventh grade art, outstanding achievement, Krishna Patel. For seventh grade music exploration, outstanding achievement, Isley Leonard and Colton Smith. And now we move on. Congratulations, one and all. We now move on to our perfect attendance recognition. This is something we do each year, and uh, we always have a list of students that make it each and every day. And it's always a remarkable feat to make it each and every day to school. This year, it's, it's quite a task. When you think about hybrid learning, getting to yourself either to school or to your Zooms each and every day is just plain incredible. And it's something that we are very proud of. Uh, and we have a long list of students from our seventh grade who have done that this year. So congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you for putting in that effort. It says so much about your commitment to your learning and to what we have here in this school. So thank you very much. If you do hear your name called, and I'd like for you to uh, hold all applause until I get through the entire list, just come on down to the foot of the stage here, and Ms. Strick has a, uh, a certificate for you. So our list is as follows. Again, congratulations for perfect attendance. Avery Blewett, Joshua Crisanti, Colin Donahue, Molly Ferry, Aiden Figura, Cooper Hunter, Milton Ignacio, Parker Lake, Raylin Levine, Krishna Patel, Grace Reed, Ella Stonehouse, Chloe Toller, and Michaela Vanderpool. And I mentioned earlier what a feat that is for those of you that have been here every day, those of you that were hybrid, but some of the kids on this list are actually even fully remote, and they made their Zooms each and every day, so that's really something. We now move on to recognizing our Spelling Bee winners. Our middle school spelling bee process began in January. We had about 30 students competing uh, right here uh, for a chance to move on to the regional competition, which is part of the national competition from the Scripps Spelling Bee. Our local competition works its way down to a winner and a runner-up. And these two students then move on to the regional competition, uh, which was supposed to be in Corning this March, but unfortunately it did not happen and we were not able to send our winners on. However, we still want to recognize our winner and our second place, uh, our first and second place winners uh, for their achievements in spelling. So this year's winner is actually a seventh grader and we are proud to acknowledge the student's efforts in spelling. And although he is fully remote and not here with us this morning, please help me recognize Josh Adorno for winning <laughs> our spelling. Now we move on to a few things that are uh, specific to seventh grade. Uh, so uh, we start with um, the Lions Club International Peace Poster Contest. So each year, the Lions Club International, which is a service organization, they hold a poster contest where school-age students can compete to create a poster which emphasizes the importance of world peace to young people everywhere. And each year we have students that, that uh, enter into this contest and we have a winner from our school um, that Ms. Capello moves on to the, to the next level. So I would like to recognize our winner from this year, a seventh grade student, who I'd like to ask to come down to the front and get a certificate of recognition from Mrs. Strick. Uh, and that winner 
was Kira Chris. Congratulations. It's a great honor to not only um, compete in this, but also to uh, bring that honor to our school and, of course, to yourself. Another award that uh, we, we enjoy giving out each year is a, it's a seventh grade award specifically, and it's from the New York State South Central Zone of Active and Healthy uh, Awards. And this organization asks us each year to nominate two seventh grade students for the regional award for health and fitness. It is a great honor to receive this. Uh, and, it, and I think it, what makes it great is more than just you're a great athlete. Uh, you, you are a healthy and fit person who is responsible and, uh, and takes your, your health and, and sports uh, very seriously. So I'm very honored to call to the stage, or to the foot of our stage here, the two people that we will be recognizing as recipients of this year's award, representing the South Central Zone of New York. Congratulations go to Parker Lake and Krishna Patel. And now we have a new uh, recognition for us because our BOCES, we haven't had a lot of um, interscholastic competitions this year for our students to compete in. And Windsor students always do really well. Um, however, last month BOCES put together something that was uh, a team competition for area middle school students. And it had to do with computer coding. So Mrs. Capello organized a group of students who, with the help of Mr. Walton from BOCES, set their sights on creating a working app. Students were tasked with creating an, an app prototype, commercial and presentation, that could help their community deal with remote learning. Our team, although I have to say we're apprehensive at first, did an amazing job. Their final product absolutely floored the judges, and they came home with a first place trophy. So please help me congratulate these winners as we ask them to come down and get a certificate of recognition and the following students are Isley Leonard, Peyton Otis, Krishna Patel, and Grace Reed. Well done. Not only did you do a lot of learning, but you also uh, represented yourselves in our school very, very well. And now we come to Citizens of the Year. As you know, each month we recognize, our, each team recognizes a student for as Citizen of the Month. And that's a big deal. And we make a big deal about it. Because it's more than just doing your job. It's, it has to do with your character and what you show on a daily basis to all of us. At the end of the year, we ask the teams to recognize one individual who stands out as the Citizen of the Year. So being a student here at Windsor Central Middle School, demands more than just academics. There's also an expectation of doing one's part to make our school and community a better place. Many students have shown excellent character throughout the year, but we honor one student from each team who has distinguished themselves as shining examples of what it means to be a citizen in our school community. It's always a pleasure to give out these awards and I wish that I had 100 of them because we have so many awesome kids doing so many incredible things on a daily basis here. But what I'd like to do at this time is call to the stage our teachers from our teams who will uh, come and uh, name our recipient and explain why they were chosen. And we have Ms. Brown and Ms. Tui who will be coming up. Good morning. Uh, I will be representing Team 7-1. Uh, every morning, as I hear the loud, boisterous footsteps coming down the seventh grade hallway, without fail, I would be greeted by a cheerful voice. This student will, in fact, go out of his way to greet all of his teachers and peers. 
If there was ever a person who was more deserving of this citizenship award, you couldn't think of one. For Team 7-1, to have citizenship is to have respect for one's community, to offer friendship and empathy to others without judgment, and to show effort in every action one takes. This year's choice exceeds these requirements. This student is the epitome of the term citizenship. He is kind and compassionate. He is respectful of his classmates, his teachers, and his school. He is the embodiment of strength, hard work, and determination. When your teachers got together, I can honestly say that your name was the first we thought of who truly earned this award. This year's recipient of the seventh grade citizenship award for Team 7-1 is Kevin Cantone. We hope we don't embarrass you, but you should know you are wanted and appreciated and loved by all. Congratulations. Good morning. I'm Mrs. Brown. I am representing the split team of teachers. Um, when teachers are asked what qualities most, are most desirable in a student, they often reply with traits such as hardworking, determined, and kind. Our citizen encompasses these traits as well as many more. This student is a, is a leader among her peers in that she continually does what is right. She is caring and compassionate, and she is a great leader. Just a side note. Um, I left my classroom once and they said, she'll take care of us. So um, that's what we mean by leader. Within the walls of the classroom, this student could be partnered with anyone and she would not only work to ensure she was successful, but would lead those around her to success as well. And all with a smile on her face. Our citizen has a no excuses attitude, which is apparent in everything she does. She not only excels, but owns her own struggles and is better because of it. She is a good friend, a great classmate, an excellent student, and a true role model for all. It is with great honor that we present Valena Royal with the, the award of Split Team 7th Grade Citizen of the Year. Wow, well done. Thank you very much, teachers, uh, all, of, all of you who uh, voted for those excellent choices. Um, so I would like to say congratulations to all of our, the, those who were named and even those who were not. Even though you might not have heard your name called today, it doesn't diminish the hard work that you put forth this year. I really hope that you remember this year for the rest of your lives for what it was and what it meant and how you overcame it all. I want to thank again our dedicated staff, which made all of the learning possible and all the achievement that we just recognized uh, come to fruition. I think this year is going to be remembered more for Zooms and cohorts and special, or social distancing than anything else. But I also want to remember it uh, as, as a year where we pulled together, where we did everything it, we, we needed to do to make sure that our students would learn and uh, not only survive, but thrive. So let's all commit to finishing this incredibly challenging and difficult year as strongly as possible. We're not done yet, but we have much to be thankful for and proud of. So with that, I'm gonna say thank you. I'd like you to stay in your seats uh, and our teachers will be dismissing you one row at a time, but uh, one more time, I'd like to get a round of applause for every single one of you.